Hello and welcome back to uh, this fight against Fiale. Um, seem to be having a slight, uh, well, how want to say, uh, well, yeah, maybe I should <laughs> call it. Um, yeah, uh, it took a few more tries than it usually does to get the recording going today. But this should be a slightly more relaxed session than the last one. And we are going to smack Fiali on the nose today, I hope at least. seems to be toughening up. I like that. I need him to be tough. So after this fight I will put uh, Hagan in the party and uh, finally bench Obright. That does limit me quite a bit. Obright is... Uh, <laughs> well I think he is about as tough now as Hagane will be uh, even at the end of the entire game so yeah and then are the breaks so, oh hello you need to be healed i think i'll do that before i send you up anywhere near the alley you know um hmm Oh boy, Fial is gonna have a field day with that formation. There, maybe. Um, yeah, Fial Day. Antares doesn't have a lot of defense. Prepare to die! Okay, so, um, so we'll be healed. And we can get going. I was thinking about using Justin for that, but yeah. It's okay if I use him, I don't want him anywhere near Fiala at this point in the fight anyway. You'll see. Uh, I think, in a way, uh, Fiala is scary. In many ways. Oh, good one, Dantaris. Ho <laughs> ho ho. Now that's... That's some trade-off right there. Would have been nice if that had hit uh, Fiale. But... Oh, now what? Oh, another one of those. You disgust me. Okay. It's still up. Can I let the noise die down? Yeah, King of Rotten Tires, but hardly unexpected. But yeah, I was going to say that uh, Fiale has quite a lot of MP, so uh, he's not held back too much by that. Uh, no, I think I'll leave that Master Monk for someone else, to be perfectly honest. Okay, he only deals 13 damage to Fiale. I was hoping for a little more. Let's 
see this. Does it? No, no, that doesn't really do anything. I, I should probably have taken uh, Irene with me to this fight. That would be a bit silly. That one actually. Yeah, there we go. This one's good. Spirits, help me. That obviously didn't do a whole lot of damage to Fiale, but that's one less mook to worry about. So what do you have? You have nothing really interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do about this formation, Fiale? Do tell. Um, yeah, Frank is probably in greater needs than Horst. Oh, did I say Fjallie? I meant to say Frank. If I said Fjallie. <laughs> yeah. Excellent commentary. Confirmed. should annoy the masked cleric and he'll hit someone with tornado level 4 <laughs> woo 7 damage oh well that's annoying I should have healed Horst. The more you know. Hmm. Hi. What? What the? What? Fiale, have someone hacked your AI? Has someone hacked? And now I can just about not cast away Nicole. Freeze level two. Have at thee. Now bear my Arctic glass. So, oh, Fiale ob obviously has a monstrous magic resistance. Uh, and speaking of AI hacking, um, I, I just uh, got into uh, checking out. Oh, hello! You should have saved that for Fiale, Miss Person. Oh, 56. Yikes. Wow. <laughs> well, she means business. Confirmed. Yeah, I was gonna say that I've gotten into, well, gotten into checking out the uh, uh, ROM hacking uh, community for uh, Shining Force 1 and 2. And I just uh, got to the Elliot fight in, um, I think it is the Shining Force 1 refix hack. That hack is hard. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> it's mad. Uh, oh, shit. That will make him cast Spark 2, I think. Well, anyway, it, it introduces some really um, intriguing AI behavior. Um, which makes some fights that were pretty easy before 
it's just about uh, murderously difficult today. Uh, specifically the laser eye fight. It took a lot of attempts to get there, but... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's get back to Shining Force 3, I suppose. Uh, put it there, just in case. Oh, this is a... Okay, this is where you go. Okay, rip Frank. Fifty-three. Yeah. So, now you got to see where to go. Now I will try to end Viale with some, um, well, I wouldn't say with a vengeance, but you know. Let's go and do this, yo. That wasn't very good. Oh, where is this broken though? Oh, man. Ha ah, Why no lower break? Oh! Air dance! <laughs> that one's nasty. That one's... Yeah. You, you, you'll, ha you, you'll have to see it to believe it. Good one. Well, I wonder, I actually want to change. What? Oh. What did I just find? Ho ho ho. Okay, okay, so this is where you do that. I didn't discover this before. Okay, well that's interesting, the more you know. Um, okay, uh, after this fight, I will set it to difficult. Viale. Um, hi guys, anything left for Symbios to do? Oh wait, now Fiala can attack him with magic. Um, uh, oops. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't get murdered, Symbios, please. Take this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, pro strats, go me. And you do that with your last turn. Okay. I'll bite. Sure. Rocket bites. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that special attack. <laughs> huh, I didn't know he had it. Well, the more you know, indeed. We did it! We defeated the Balsam High Priest! And they're only go they are only going to get tougher, by the way. I can't believe that I could be overcome by the puny Symbios force. Ha ha ha! Defeated by Symbios, you Fiali, one of the four High Priests of Balsam. How will you ever face Balsam again? I laugh. Basanda. Masanda? Oh, I remember, she's the one who made Spiriel destroy the Elbism statue. It's that terrible High Priestess. Hurry up and finish him off, Notaris. Your pulses? Did you say finish him off? Yeah, you know, just 
ram that lance through his, I don't know, face or whatever. If you want to defeat the Bolsom Priest, now is the time. Bolsom has almost awakened. It won't be this easy next time. It is not in my nature to kill a defeated enemy, but I trust your judgment. So be it. Qu quickly, Dantarish, do it now. Another piece of Bolsom is coming to save him. Oh, snap! You don't have 20 hit points anymore, do you? That was just my way of saying hello. I applaud you for dodging the attack. Don't let my age fool you, priest. I am a veteran of many struggles. I like to think I'll learn a trick or two. Pulses of Aspinia. What an interesting man. I like you. After battling Fiale, the Symbios force haven't the strength to face me. Isn't that right, little Symbios? I don't know if Symbios would say so, but I certainly would agree with that. Stop, Natalis. That was just a warning shot. She could easily destroy us. We've no choice but to stand down. Clever boy. Pulses gets a star. If you want to keep your pitiful lives, don't even blink. Once I pass Viala to my men, I will return. And playtime will begin. Wait for me, okay? Hmm. Need some water? <coughs> oh, Jesus. Sorry about that. Although we defeated Fiale, he escaped before we could finish him off. I see a purple speck. Why do I hear a purple speck? We ran out of luck this time. Two balls of high priests are a bit too much for us to handle. Yes. Um, I think she has something like 300 hit points, so... That's just as well, seeing as we have Fiala was a bit of a struggle. I understand, Symbios. I will explain those things your father was keeping secret. Come follow me. So we're going to be heading up an observatory now. Well, I wonder if we'll even see the Valkyrie. Yeah, I'm going to call it the Valkyrie. The Valkyrie just doesn't really roll off the tongue, you know? Isn't the view from here gorgeous, Symbios? Oh yes, before we talk, take a look at the view from the observation deck. Seeing everything going on below helps to clear the line. Look, oh, uh, um, I wasn't going to descend the tower, I was going to go over here. To the west, you can see the valley that divides Espinia and Barand. Looking at the beautiful landscape, it's hard to imagine Baron is now a war-torn country that's at the very center of this war. And yeah, that's uh, that's the area with the Elvisum statue and the bridge where we lost Julian, as I recall. I remember seeing like this in Final Fantasy IX. I do hope you do as well. It's a nice scene. Oh wait, let me just check. I think there was a, some items up here. Let's see. Also, pulses your mental before you can get into the next battle. Okay. Now I just approach uh, these uh, the telescopes and they activate. And I'm, there's no button pushing going on. On a clear day, you can see the South Continental Passage, which connects Estonia and Espinia across the ocean. And uh, we are going to be uh, visiting that uh, Continental Passage in scenario two, incidentally. A little over 20 years ago, the first citizens of the Republic came here using that passage. Oh, no, 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 not done, not done. Huh? See that? There was a treasure chest. We need treasure chests. we have here then. That snowy mountain visible to the north is where Bolsum Temple lies. We will visit this place in scenario 3. That's where Bolsum would awaken for that allowed to come to pass. 
a natural assumption would be that the sect is heading there. Which is why we'll be heading there in scenario 3. QED. There we go. Dark matter and the last little view here. To the east you should be able to see the eastern seaboard of the continent. Every time I look out that way I wonder what lies beyond. Someday I'd like to take a ship and find out. Well, join us and see the world, Mr. Man. Wondering about that floating gem. I mean, I don't know exactly what it is. However, with more activity in the evil sex army, the gem glows brighter. It seems to be an indicator of the dark power of Bolzone. Okay. We've done everything we should be doing up here, so... I am finished looking around. Yes. Well then, let's discuss your concerns. During the battle, you mentioned a promise to Lord Conrad. What exactly did you mean? Lord Conrad, King Benetrum, and I had a mutual agreement. Specifically, if one of us were to go down before our goal was achieved, the remaining two would resume and instruct another person to continue in place of the Fallen. With Conrad's passing, that person is Symbios. Surprise of surprises. Do the Vandals have something to do with your goal? King Benetrum always seemed absorbed in learning about Bolzo. Researchers in Flaggard were studying legends of the Thousand Year Kingdom and the excavation of the ancient ruins. Is it all related to the revival of Bolzo? Say it ain't so. To prevent this continent from falling under Vandal rule, you must continue your father's work. I offer whatever help I can give to aid you in this task. So what should, we, what should we do now? Attack the Bolzome sect directly and stop the revival of Bolzome. Oh, that easy, is it? It would be nice if it were that simple. <laughs> Proceeded by the game, but there's much to do. What is that thing you mentioned earlier that was headed south? The Valkyrie? Valkyrie? The Valkyrie is a flo flying weapon used in ancient times by the Vandals. Uh, I don't think it has much to do with um, Shining the Holy Ark, actually. Just saying. As you know, this war between the Empire and the Republic began because of the treachery of Volzo's followers. They also seem to be involved in various rebellious movements within each government. Not just the peace conference either, the Volzo sect was also involved in our clashes with the Bersal army and General Fafford. Uh, fat part? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why in the world would the Balsam Sect do these things? This is just my own speculation, but dark human emotions like terror, hate, and despair seem to feed the Vandals. Take a look at that. This gem seems to measure dark energy. Its br brilliance increases as more and more warfare breaks out. Much like uh, Sephiroth's medallion in uh, Fire Emblem Telia Saga, actually. Uh, Radiant Dawn and Path of Radiance. So, the Balsam sect is creating tragedy through the chaos of war in order to bring about the revival of Balsam? So, proven, this plot existed in this game before it did in Radiant Dawn. In order to stop the revival of Bolso, we must prevent this power his, in, his power from increasing any further. To do so, we must first put an end to all the warfare within the nation. Okay. Easy peasy. Right. Let us visit Lord Tristus of Mallory. He's very well respected in Aspinia. He can put an end to the internal quarrels. Quarrels. Um, that would be nice. Let's go thinking, Duke Pauses. Lord Tristus is the brother-in-law of Lord Symbios. Should be easy to ask this favor of him. Hmm. That's right. Everyone, time is critical. We must leave for Mallory immediately. Uh, yeah. Anyone care to bet that the Bolsome priests have also 
uh, foreseen this possibility like we would be seeking uh, the uh, help of Mallory so uh, now here's the thing what we need to do is go out on this section there to get to the next fight but we have a few administrative tasks to take care of first like uh, benching all bright uh, reviving people uh, you know the usual Just to be thorough. Okay, save the game. And we will continue. I wish for nothing else. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Uh, where was the weapon shop again? <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. Let's uh, start unequipping some nice gear. Like Obright's oh, life ring. I to give you. Well, Sinios won't need two antidote herbs, that's for sure. You won't need that. You need that, and you will be benched again, so. Thanks, Dory, for now. Grace can't hold on to that skull ring. A word only to unequip. Ah, oh, it's just it's just a pity to lose that rune tomahawk. It's a good axe, really. Let's see. We're going to sell that. We are going to keep Sybil in the party. <laughs> She's too good. Rod, it is cursed, and I don't really think the uh, confusion is worth anything very much. So I won't equip anyone with it. And there is our Hagane. Uh, let's give it to someone who can sell stuff in her space. that I know we'll need it in the next fight. Uh, oh yeah, there's you as well. I got it. Come. 57 attack, 26 defense. Well, that's... Uh, well, his defense is suffering there, but... We'll make it work. I'll take you instead of Dantares, and we are back to how we were before. And... Yeah. You will lose your swift boots now. And you will lose your life rate. So we'll plus one if used. Does anyone not have anything equipped? 
This is Symbios doesn't really need the Battle Bracer. Hmm. Maybe I'll try to give him the life ring, but that's. Yeah, I'll just sa saddle him with the Swift Boots for now. And we'll see if we can take the life ring. Irene would need it, I'm for sure. That's are just frightening. Aha! Uh -huh. Frank can use the life ring. I'm willing to bet he would make the best use of it. Let's see, but Hagan needs it too. Hmm, well, I'll just give it to Frank. And I will then give the battle bracer to Hagane, I hope. I don't. Well, screw that. I can give this to Nu. I cannot give this to Hagane. What the actual what is this? Makes no sense. Ah, oh well. I'll just give that to Mr. Man over there, and I need another healing item for Hagani before we leave. There. Wonder if the Gale Ring is meant for him though. Okay, you are not the weapon shop, but you are a shop, so I can sell stuff here. Oh, and repair news ring, incidentally. Hmm. Oh, right, <laughs> you have to confirm to start the repair process. Nothing else to fix, so let's sell everything. Yeah, I I never really use uh, well, I don't ever really equip cursed equipment. So I I know the uh, torture rod has some good stats to it, but yeah, it's my let's play. I'll do what I want. Wow, Noon actually went straight from the first available wand to the Wendigo wand. <laughs> ah, no wonder it was such a great leap in attack strength. Let's see if we can find the weapon shop though. I wonder if he has anything uh, we can uh, Ah, uh, yeah, now you're back. You weren't here before. I hope you don't mind that I stole 1500 gold from you. Ho ho ho! Now we are talking! <laughs> oh my! So, this is one way to get Freeze onto Mascarin. Should you use her? Well, it will stay in the uh, deal section like this, so... Uh, don't worry if I don't buy it. Let's see... 
Grace can actually use this, but she she's flying ox. And what Noon is carrying is a lot better than uh, well anything. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we have. Steel glove? Uh, yeah, thought it would be a bit of a step down there. Battle wing? Mm, let's see... Oh! It actually has some defense and it's uh, stronger. Now I want to have a larger source for this playthrough actually, so... It's... That's just gonna be the case. And Ratchet might actually hurt someone now. This is good. There's nothing else for us to buy. Okay, let's uh, wait right into the next fight. to go the long way around. Such a fantastic animation. <laughs> so this is the famous Grid Wall, an ancient civilization built to project against invaders. And incidentally, it is modeled, of course, after the Chinese Great Wall. I've been there. It looks uh, well, a lot like this. If, um, yeah, a bit more billowing, you know, up and down and all that. So, okay, uh, we said that. Yes, 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 yes. Move on. I'd love to spend more time touring this marvel, but unfortunately, there's no time for that now. Now that we have saved Duke Pulses, do you think the Balls on Sect will try again? Or would they... you think? The cult wants the Republic destroyed. I believe the next target must be Lortrisis of Mallory. Which is where we are headed, incidentally. Although it has its dangers, the Great Wall will take us to Mallory. We must move quickly. Dangers, huh? The corridor is so long and narrow, it will be the ideal landscape for our enemies to lie and wait for an ambush. And of course we will have an ambush! Let's see. We have the three men, we have a Cerberus. We have a treasure chest guarded by a whole bunch of masked monks. Hmm... Oh! Okay. Well, with the way I mean I will equip people, the item we get here doesn't really... It's not really important. It, it is a blade of some sort. Uh, but it will sell for a ton of money. Hmm, you seem to be new. Masked Mage. That's a silvering, isn't it? And you have Blaze level 3. Oh, Jesus, on a bike. Mm -hmm. Well, doesn't look like anything we can't deal with. But keep in mind that we don't have Obright. So we'll be that much weaker. I don't think we'll need to use any angel wings or aggressors this time up. 
I don't recall this fight being very hard, so I'm I'm confident. I'm sure we'll get through this in one try. Although, uh, yeah, I will of course wait to the <laughs> next part, the end of this fight. I mean, um, <laughs> yeah, Hagana needs to be coddled a bit. Oh, okay. I did not see that one coming. <laughs> oh, there. <laughs> I made the location of that large myth a little more specific in the guide. And I will leave the episode here. Thank you for watching everyone, and I will see you in the next one. Next, next part, something. Whoops.